What is going on guys and welcome back to another Cartoon Conspiracy Theory brought to you by none other than yourselves, the fans. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this, the Facebook page link in the description and on screen right now as you guys are seeing. Check that out if you guys want your theories that you submit to be featured on a future episode. Go ahead and leave me a message or a post over there on the Facebook or leave me a DM on Twitter, whatever you prefer. All that stuff will be in the description. But let's go ahead and jump right into this week's theories. Starting with a Spongebob theory that comes to me from Jimmy Lewis Cabier. I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. I apologize for that. But he has a really cool Spongebob theory. It has to do with how Pearl came to be Mr. Krabs' daughter, even though there's never any mention of her mother or a Mrs. Krabs. Now, his theory is that Pearl's mother was killed by a fisherman, and Mr. Krabs witnessed this. He then saw that the while the whale was dead, it was protecting its baby infant daughter. Mr. Krabs then took in that daughter raised it as his own and never told her where her actual mother is or what happened to her because he's saving her the hurt and the pain of knowing that her mother was brutally murdered by fishermen this would like I said explain why there's never any mention of, of Pearl's mother or Mrs. Krabs in Spongebob but that's a really cool theory and it's really kind of uh, heartwarming and still very sad at the same time so thank you Jimmy for sending that in appreciate your submission this week our next theory is a family guy theory from zoe johnson and it says that meg is actually the child of an affair that lois had a while back and that is why nobody in the family likes her and that is why they treat her so bad she even goes as far to show me evidence and from the episode screwed the pooch it is stated that peter is not meg's real father there is a scene where Peter is attempting to persuade the court that Brian should have access to his puppy. He then observes that if he were half as good the dad that Brian is, he would know certain facts about his children, including the fact that, quote, Meg's real father is, and this is where Brian answers, quote, Stan Thompson. This is the part where, you know, we come to say that this is really true. It's actually in the, the dialogue between the characters that Peter is not really Meg's father. And it says it's right there. That's why they treat her like crap. That's why they don't like her. She's not actually part of the family. And that is why they dislike Meg so much. Thank you, Zoe, for your submission. I really appreciate that. That really cool. And I, I don't, I, that went right over my head. I, I've seen that episode a million times and I never really put one and one together. But thank you for your submission this week as well. And our final theory this week comes from Alonzo Torres, and it has to do with Powerpuff Girls and Johnny Bravo. And this is a pretty cool one as well. He says that the Powerpuff Girls are actually in the world of Johnny Bravo as a cartoon that Johnny watches on television. And he saw the character Major Man as a child and copied mostly everything about him, down to his mannerisms, the way he speaks, and even his hair. Now this makes perfect sense. Johnny Bravo and Major Man are very similar in a ton of ways. Not just the way they talk, the way they walk, but also in the way they look. Now think about it. As a child growing up watching cartoons, there's a super superhero that is someone you look up to and someone you want to emulate to copy that it makes perfect sense that he would then want to do his hair that way become muscular and do a lot of things the way that he did as well so thank you again for that submission alonzo very interesting stuff there it kind of blew my mind that i'd also missed this one i never noticed that those two characters looked and talked and acted so much alike but thank you again for that submission again if you guys want your submissions to be on this show make sure you guys hit up the facebook page and before i get out of here i want to mention one more thing and that is that I have started up a Patreon page where you guys can come and support me and support the show by donating and spending your time checking out that page. Like, links will be in the description, also in on um, your video screen right now. You guys are seeing a look at this page. If we hit certain goals over there, we'll be making special videos that only the Patreons can view. They won't be on YouTube. They'll only be on Patreon. You guys can check that out. If you guys feel like donating, please do, and I hope to see you guys over there as well. But as always, guys, have a great day. Remember, this came at time somewhere. I will speak with you again shortly. Until then, take it easy, and peace out.